Hi everyone and welcome to Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge 2019. Joining the challenge is very easy. All you have to do is forward your full name, school or company name together with your Fusion 360 email to Autodesk Community Philippines at gmail.com. In this challenge, I am seeing a rectangle with a length of 100. Let's head to Fusion 360. I'm going to hit R for rectangle and let's sketch on the XY plane. Left click here. I'm going to drop my first corner on this location. Notice the dimension on the left is highlighted in blue, meaning it is active. I'm going to key in 100. In addition, I'm seeing a radius of 40. I'm going to hit tab and key in 80. So it's 40 multiplied by 2. Hitting enter. Let's span this up and grab our S key. So hitting S on my keyboard. In the shortcuts, I have customized my shortcuts. But if you do not have these icons, you can type ARC and select three point arc. So let's drop our first point on this corner. Left click here, left click here, move down. And once you see the tangent inferred constraint, left click. Next, let's move up. I'm going to hit escape to disable the R command. My next intent is to add a midpoint constraint between this horizontal line and our origin. So selecting our origin, holding control, left click this horizontal line, right click, and select midpoint. It turned into black, which means it's fully constrained. Instead of creating a new sketch with our slot, let's create the slot here. So grabbing our sketch shortcuts once more, hitting S, typing SL, and selecting center to center slot. Left click. Let's drop our first point on the center point of this arc. Left click here, move up, key in 50, hitting enter, and key in 20 for its diameter. In addition, let's minimize the number of profiles by selecting this horizontal line and hitting X on our keyboard, making this as a construction line. Hitting D for dimension, selecting this vertical line, place our dimension here, left click, key in 50. Finally, hit L for line. Let's create a line from this corner going here. Hit D for dimension, selecting this line and this vertical line. Drop our dimension here. Key in 60. And finally, hit E for extrude, selecting this profile. Let's head to home view and pull this arrow down. And key in negative 15. Operation new body. Hitting enter. Our next intent is to create the feature here. And before heading to sketch mode, we need a plane to sketch upon. With that in mind, let's head to construct. Selecting plane at angle. And on the 2D drawing, it says surface A and B has an angle of 135 degrees. So we are prompted to select a line. Let's select this edge. And move this rotate handle. I'm going to key in 135 minus 180. And hit OK. So let's inspect. If the angle between this construction plane and this surface is 135, hitting I, which is the shortcut for measure, selecting this plane and this surface. So confirmed, it's 135, selecting close and going to home view. 
Let's now enter sketch mode, hitting L for line, and let's sketch on this newly created plane. So we need a reference for us to place our first point on this corner. So I'm going to hit P for project and select this edge. Hitting L for line, creating a line from this point, moving up. I'm going to hold my left mouse button to create an arc, release, and double left click here. Hitting escape, let's add some constraints, selecting this line, right click, selecting vertical, selecting this arc and this line, right click and select tangent. Next, let's hit D for dimension, selecting this center point and this edge. Drop our dimension here, key in 50. Next, hit L for line. Let's create a square here. Hitting escape. Let's add some constraints. Selecting this line and this line. Right click and select perpendicular. Next, let's grab this point and this point. Right click and select vertical. Select this point and this center point. Right click and select vertical. Hit D4 dimension. Select this line and this line. Drop our dimension here. Key in 30. Hitting escape. Let's move this square up. Aligning it with our center point, selecting this point and this point. Right click, select horizontal. And finally, this point and this center point. Right click and select horizontal. It turned into black. Again, it's fully constrained. Hitting E for extrude. Pulling this arrow down and keying in negative 15. Hitting enter. And to create the gap here, I want you to be aware because these two bodies is not touching each other. This were created separately. So let's head to bodies, selecting body one. Hit S for model shortcuts, typing C O, selecting combine. Target body now selected, which is body one. Activating tool bodies, selecting body two. Operation join and hit OK. From here, let's select this face and this face. Hitting delete. Heading to home view and let's inspect. Let's go to top view. Right view. Looking nice. And congratulations for completing the Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge for July. This video is sponsored by MSI Workstations. Fusion 360 works smoothly with MSI Workstation. Join us in Facebook. See you in the next Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge.